What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Should we talk about Halloween ends in this video here today? And we'll be talking about some details, two details anyway, that I found to be most important coming from this uh, novelization of Halloween ends that's out there that could have benefited from actually being conveyed on screen. Especially this one detail about Lori Strode and her missing context as to why she sold happy-go-lucky in this new movie so just to preface by saying that we know that in halloween kills which takes place moments after halloween 2018 in the same night laurie basically by the end of that movie is determined to go get michael myers whether you watch the theatrical cut whether you watch the extended cut the extended cut makes it a little bit more obvious with the fact that how the extended cut ends is she gets that phone call michael's killed karen in the upstairs bedroom and she hears michael's breathing after receiving a phone call from what she believes is karen but it's just michael breathing on the other side of the phone so she says i'm coming for you michael or something like that she drops the phone has a knife in hand and she goes to leave the hospital ready to go kill this man because he's now killed her daughter and also to of course to get revenge for everything else that he's caused over the past 40 years and what he's continuing to cause on this very night then in Halloween ends, we just jump right into a brand new story four years later. She's happy-go-lucky. There's no context as to why she ended up like this other than, of course, we know that over time she allowed herself to kind of just forgive Michael. She even makes mention of that. I tried to forgive you. What's missing, though, is something I feel like could have helped some of the valid criticisms that are out there in this novelization where it says that Lori didn't change overnight. This is me reading something from a Dread Central article. Uh, it says Lori's decision to carve pumpkins and change her whole outlook on life may feel a bit far fetched in the movie. But in the book, we learned that at first she was dead set on finding Michael after he killed her daughter and half of Haddonfield in 2018. She led a manhunt and later kept on patrolling the streets alone. Eventually, she resorted to self harm, realized she needed professional help and went to therapy. Now, see stuff like that. That's where I think a valid argument comes in that Halloween ends probably, yes, should have picked up at least at the beginning for maybe 10 minutes or so at the at the conclusion of Halloween Kills. So you can see some context like that and then you can jump four years later and explain that she's also tried to commit suicide and she's gone to therapy. They do explain that, but I feel like the lack of seeing any follow-up from how Halloween Kills ends and how it just starts abruptly from a, to a completely different thing in Halloween Ends, that missing context makes her arc somewhat weaker and i guess a lot more unconvincing to some viewers it's again a nice thing to see that she's liberating herself but knowing that she actually was still determined to kill michael and she didn't just forget about it overnight seeing that conveyed on screen would have been more convincing in the way she's portrayed going forward in the movie that's just my stance on that so i think that this novelization actually adds some cool context that will allow me to watch halloween ends in a more appropriate lens because i do like the movie i just think it's got some strong weaknesses that hold it back from being good or something great now just to jump into this other thing related to a chase scene that was we were robbed of i'll say we were robbed of this halloween ends was going to apparently or it could have featured a epic chase scene that was going to rival michelle geller's chase sequence and i know what you did last summer this would have been a double murder of kim and her boyfriend ryan now kim is the cheerleader from uh halloween 2018 who wore i think she had like a tire costume and she tried to not try she literally makes out with cameron and this is no what sparks them to have that argument cameron and allison throwing her phone and whatever that dip was at the party so it would have been him chasing this girl kim who kissed cameron she and it says here in the dread central article here she doesn't just get her uh her, her compass but she also receives what could have easily been the best chase scene of the whole david gordon green trilogy using her cheerleading skills and strength kim would run from michael through various locations a a defunct meat packing plant a forest and eventually the sewer tunnel now it says that this sequence takes up to 10 pages so obviously if it's taken up to 10 pages that's where anyone would have a mindset that this could rival what you've seen from sarah michelle geller who runs into different locations in the i know what you did last summer chase sequence now the way some of this is described and the locations that she would have been running through this could have been a very tense suspenseful just overall engaging 
sequence to watch unfold as Michael is stalking this individual for so long. Now, what might not make it as interesting as Helen's was is that Kim, we know, as going off of the movie, she doesn't have a big role in Halloween Ends. Helen had a big role in I Know What You Did Last Summer. So with Kim being a random character that gets that long like chase sequence, that probably would then not make it as memorable as Helen's since Helen was a character that people were rooting for. They were behind her character. People still to this day think Helen should have lived and Ju Julie should have died. Um, I think that's where Helen's chase sequence would have still been more memorable however if you take what they're saying could have happened to kim and maybe let's say apply that to allison and Corey, or allison and cameron if cameron was still alive place cameron in that scenario where he dies in halloween ends instead of halloween kills allison goes on this 10 page chase sequence through those three different locations all the way till she gets chased into this tunnel from michael myers that we know he spends the majority of his time at in the movie that would have made this a thousand times more memorable. I mean, we already get a glimpse of Andy Matichak doing some chase scene potential in the 2018 movie when she's running around asking for help. So it's a little unfortunate that we never saw something kind of top that in any of the future movies that came afterwards, because this sequence sounds like it could have been a very, very just fun moment and memorable moment in the franchise if it was used on the right character too. I think the character of Kim, given that she only appeared once in the series so far in Halloween 2018, and we haven't seen her since, placing her in this sequence, it would still make the moment fun and suspenseful, and it would help build tension, but not as memorable, and I don't feel it would be as impactful if you applied it to a character that viewers were invested in, and I think that would be the difference there when you're comparing it to Helen's chase sequence and whatever they had written here for Kim. Helen was already integral to the story. Helen was already someone people were invested in. Kim is just a nobody. So taking whatever could have been Kim's and applying it to someone like Allison would have just made this 10 times better. But yes, we were robbed of what could have been an iconic chase sequence that many people who would have talked about for many years to come. They might not have talked about Kim. It just would have been all the circumstances that she would have been dealing with in that chase sequence because it sounds like a lot of fun but that's really all i wanted to talk about with halloween ends in this video us being robbed of some context with Lori and her arc in the movie also being robbed of what could have been an iconic chase sequence if you haven't already of course go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video.